Hello and welcome, thanks for tuning in. It's nice to have you with us. This video is for the beginners amongst you because I think you know the situation. You are passionate and you bought yourself everything in order to start with car care to perfectly look and care after your new ride. You even got yourself a small pressure washer, you got yourself a foam gun, you got yourself a snow foam like this Diana Gloss Snow here because you saw nice pictures and videos on Instagram, on Facebook or on YouTube in which a whole car is covered under a thick blanket of snow foam. This looks so nice and you want to have the same effect now. But then you go outside, you attach the snow foam lens, probably this one which was included in a kit that you got with your catcher and then you realize you're not able to create this thick layer of snow foam. And in this video I want to show you that this has nothing to do with your decision to go with the smallest catcher. It has nothing to do with a lack of performance of the snow foam but it has everything to do with the Catcher FJ6 snow foam lens. I will start with the combination that most of you probably know best, which is the Catcher K2 with the Catcher FJ6 snow foam lens. As a reminder, there is the Sienna Gloss Snow snow foam in there in a dilution ratio of one to 10. And now we have a look how well this setup foams up. As you saw, this is the typical picture that the Catcher FJ6 creates. Because when the snow foam comes out, I'll show it to you again. Now it maybe looks good, but it is way too watery, way too diluted down, and it doesn't stick on the paint, no matter if it is protected or not. But that has nothing to do with the Catcher K2. I'm now running it on and has nothing to do with the snow foam, but everything with this foam cannon here, even if I turn it all the way up. And to prove that point to you, I will now run the other snow foam lances on there. extremely interesting results because the MTM foam lens is normally a fantastic foam cannon. However, it does not work with the Catcher K2 and I think it has something to do with how it is built inside of there and that the pressure and the amount of water that the K2 pumps out is simply not enough in order for it to work properly. Very interesting. And that's the beauty of those tests and videos we, we do for you. Because if you rely on people recommending you that you buy such a foam lens and if you have a K2 and then it doesn't work, it is very disappointing because that is not a cheap foam lens. Which is why we will now also test how a box standard MJJC snow foam lens, which you can buy on Amazon, works with the K2. Ah, As you can see, with the right snow foam lens, and this is a box standard MJJC snow foam lens that you can buy cheap on Amazon, DK2 is able to create a nice snow foam. So yeah, you see, it is not underpowered to do so. So you now saw how the Catcher FJ6 works with the cheap K2 and also how the more expensive MTM foam lens works with this small machine. What we'll now do is do a direct comparison of how these two snow foam lenses work with the Catcher K5 and the Ava P80 in order to see if these two lenses and especially the Catcher one work better with more powerful machines.
in order to show you that the FJ6 is capable of creating nice snow foam if you use it pure and neat. I will now fill the lens with the snow in its pure form and then foam it up again. So we clearly saw in this video that it does not matter which pressure washer you use, it does not matter which snow foam you use, you simply cannot create a thick snow foam with the Kercher FJ6 snow foam lens because, and I'm very sorry Kercher to say that, it is a shitty product. You can create a thick snow foam with this, but then you have to use the snow foam pure and neat in there, but then you use so much product that it simply doesn't make sense to further use it. And therefore, before you think about buying a more powerful but also more expensive pressure washer, I would propose get yourself a proper, a functioning snow foam lens like, for example, the typical MJJC one which you can get on Amazon or eBay. And then you can create a nice snow foam on your car even with a less powerful Kercher K2 because we already showed you in another video that the K2 is completely sufficient to wash your car. I hope that this video could be debunk some myth about the Kercher FJ6. If you liked it, leave us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.